From the vast deserts of the Southwest to the laboratory of Dr. Thomas Griss at Mayo Clinic in Arizona, microscopic fungal spores of valley fever are the focus of research. Spores are kind of like the seeds of the fungus, so they are very durable. They can exist and persist in the environment, and they're tiny, so they float in the air and we can breathe them in. Each year, up to 3% of people in the Southwest are exposed to infection and develop antibodies, no matter how long they've lived there. Dr. Griss says valley fever infections are common, but the current diagnostics could be better. One of the most frustrating things is if someone has symptoms of a brain infection with valley fever, it's difficult to confirm whether they have that in their brain or not. And if they do, they're going to be on antifungal medications for the rest of their life. We cannot cure it from the brain. That's why this rapid antibody test being developed, similar in format to a COVID-19 test, is so important. The test we're working on can detect antibodies in 10 minutes. We still have to wait for the body to respond to the fungus, but once it does, we can provide answers in 10 minutes. He says the shortened time to detect fungal antibodies means that answers could be back in time to inform patient care during their visit. Some patients come in four or five times until they figure out what's happening. Every single time going to the doctor, you have to find transportation. You might have to find child care. It's a burden. And for patients, Dr. Griss says the rapid antibody test could change the paradigm. The median time to diagnosis is 23 days. So half of the people take more than 23 days to find out they have valley fever. So if we can get testing that's more rapid and get answers faster, then people will be more prone to test because they can make a decision while the patient's there. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Marty Velasco-Hames.